Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your vocals sound like Rima or Zeba. And also, I'll include this FLP template and preset for you guys as well. So this is a quick preview of what we are going to get today. What are you giving a real sick of a Josie Bottom? Are you gonna send me money? Then I spray money that you can't get back up. This is an ugly thing. I got it. Rock up and not in my jump. You will be here, boy. They do my things. I guess it's easy. I got it. So I'm going to take you through the mixing process and how I get this type of vocals to sound like Rima. So make sure to stay with me and also hit on the notification bell, click on the subscribe button so that anytime I post, you'll be the first person to get notified. So without wasting much time, let's get into my mixer channel and let me take you through how I got this. This is how the vocal sounds like without anything. This is the solo vocals. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's now sounding perfect as close as Rima, but this is the best possible vocals we can get so far. That's why we are about to mix it. Yeah, so right now, let me take you through the mixing process. As you can see, the first plugin I added was a noise gate, which comes with fruity limiter. And this fruity limiter has a noise gate I used to remove all the noises from the vocals. And after adding the noise gate, I added this auto tune as well. The key of the song is A minor. So as you can see, I added the key A minor. And the Ozeba song is not a singing song. Yeah, it's a kind of rap and singing. Yeah, so you know, the return speed is way back. I set the return speed to 30 because I don't want to get that kind of more auto tune effect on it because on Rumer's voice, that wasn't how it was sounding. So yeah, I tried to back off the auto tune a little bit to get this 30 return speed. And also after that, I added this 5 filter Pro Q2. So on this 5 filter Pro Q2, I just high pass 103 hertz just to cut all the low rumbles in the vocal. So as you can see, there was a lot of low rumbles in the vocals I got. So, you know, I need to cut them off. Yeah, and also I made good use of this EQ over here in the FL Studio. So as you can see, I am dipping down an empty hertz to get rid of those lows in the vocals. And also the 247 hertz, I cut about negative 6 dB. Yeah, just to cut the muddiness in the vocal. So basically, that's what I did. Yeah, and also I added this 5 filter Pro MB also over here just to control those low mid ranges over here. So yeah, so as you can hear, the vocals is a little bit muddy. So, you know, I need to control those kind of muddiness in the vocals. That's why I added this Pro MB. This is a multiband compressor which can compress a specific frequency. So I'm using this multiband compressor to compress that specific frequency. So as you can see, here yeah, I'm compressing about the 108 hertz and also the 510 hertz only. Yeah, so let me play the vocals with the 5 filter Pro MB on for you to hear the difference. <laughs> You will be here, boy. They do my things. I guess it's easy, Jeeves. I got hair. I'm a walk in my car. I have a bookstore that says somebody by that. Somebody will Yeah, so as you can hear, the Pro MB has taken the vocals to different level. I know this vocal sounds a little bit funny. I know. So after controlling the muddiness and everything, then I go after to add this compressor. So I use the Fat Filter Pro C2 just to compress the vocals a little bit. So let me turn it on and let me show you the settings over here. Yeah, so as you can see, I set the ratio to 3.4 and also the attack to 6 milliseconds and the release to 209 milliseconds. Yeah, so I'm getting about 6 dB of gain reduction. Yeah. Yeah, so that is it for it. And again, I added this Putech from Waves. Yeah, so this is a Putech EQ from Waves. On this Putech, I am boosting the 16 kilohertz. That is the highs in the vocals. Because if you listen to Rimmer's voice, it has a lot of highs in it. And the beat has a lot of things going on in the beat. So you need to boost the highs so that the vocals can stand out in the mix here. So as you can see, I am boosting 6 dB of the 16 hertz. That is the high frequency just to make the vocals stand up on top of the beat. Yeah, so that is all what I use this Putech to do. And also in the low mix, the 100 hertz, I cut about 5 dB of the 100 hertz in the low mix. So I'm using this Putech to cut the 100 hertz and also boost the 16 kilohertz of the vocal. So that is all what this Putech is doing on the vocals. 
So let me play the vocals with and without the Pewtech for you to listen to the difference. All of my friends and the tell me everybody and women. Who be that girl with the shake and keep it for part being one tie like a hell, eh? What are you giving a real sick of a jersey back on? Um, are you gonna send me money and I spend money that you can't fit back on? No, this is an ability, you got it, rock up and not in my jam. You will be here, boy, they do my tears, I guess, easy, 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 easy. Yeah, so as you can hear, the Pewtech brought up some of the highs and also the presence in the vocals. And after that, I go ahead and added this R voice, which is a compressor. So basically, I'm compressing about negative 5 dB over here. This is just a simple compressor. You just bring the compressor knob over here. And if you see the gain reduction you want, maybe you want 5 dB, then you leave there and bring this gain knob to compensate for the volume. So it's very simple. And also, I added this DS just to control the high frequency. As I told you, I boosted the 16 kHz, so it introduced a lot of siblings in the vocal. So I'm using this DS to control the, those siblings a little bit. Yeah, so in case you are mixing the vocals and there's a lot of siblings in, try your best to use a DS to control those siblings in the vocal. Because though we want a high shimmer vocals, but if the highs are too much, you may end up ruining the whole mix with those kind of highs. So yeah, always make sure to use a DSR if you found out that your mix is having a lot of highs in it. And also I added this Fat Filter Pro Q3 over here as you can see. So on this Fat Filter Pro Q3 as you can see, I'm cutting the extreme highs in the vocal because I boosted the 16 kilohertz and I have set the Pewtech to work on the 16 kilohertz, but it's not boosting only the 16 kilohertz. It is boosting the 16 kilohertz and above. So those above, let's say the 20 kilohertz and the 19 kilohertz, I don't need them in the vocals. They are extreme highs, I don't need them. So I just use this parametric EQ to high cut those extreme highs in the vocals. So as you can see, I am cutting about 17.8 kilohertz. Yeah, basically that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so that is all for it. Before I move on to my reverb and my doubler and my delay, let's listen to it alongside with the beat and I'll keep on bypassing and also enabling it for you to hear the difference. All of my friends and they tell me, 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 tell I go walk to my car. I go broke to that say somebody by that. Somebody we care. I go do my best to make on the phone now. Back up on multiple my. Yeah, I said don't focus on the vocals because it sounds a little bit funny. But focus on the mix, how it sounds with the beat. Yeah, so as you can see, when I engage the presets, it sounds amazing. It sounds nice. So yeah, now let's move on to our sense. So for the third sense, I use a doubler. Yeah, just to get a little bit of wideness in the vocals. As you can see, this is the settings for my doubler. Yeah, you can copy it. And also, as I said, I will include the preset for you as well. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, I cut all the low frequencies over here and also boosted the gain as well over here. Yeah, and also these are my wideness I am setting over here. Yeah, so that is how it looks like. So let's play it alongside with the doubler and listen to how it sounds. All of my friends and they tell me, tell me everybody and women. Who be that girl with the shake and keep it for part being one tie like a hell, eh? What are you giving a real or sick of a jersey bank on? Um, are you gonna send me money and I spend the money that you can't fit back on? No, this is an ability, you got it wrong. Yeah, so you see how it's widening the vocals a little bit. Yeah, so that is how the doubler works. And also, my reverb, as usual, I use Valhalla Vintage Reverb. And this is my settings. I have a video on how you can set your reverb. On your vocals let me do a quick run through on this for you as well i always use my bpm to calculate for my decay time and also my pre-delay time and also i high cut the reverb about eight kilohertz over here as you can see yeah yeah so that's all for the reverb and also for my delay is very simple i mostly use age delay over here so for the age delay after i set my bpm i just switch it to one over four and also set my high pass and low pass to get that kind of telephone delay on my vocal. Yeah, so as you can see, I side chain the vocals to the delay so that anytime the vocals come in, delay will duck for the vocals to come in. And after the vocals go down, then the delay will come. Yeah, so I have a video on that you can check on my channel, how to set your delay and also your reverb as well. So you can check that video out. Yeah, so basically that's what I'm doing over here. So let me play the vocals along with all of these things for you to hear how it sounds. All of my friends and they tell me, 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 tell me,
And as I said, I will include this preset for you guys as well. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I post, you'll be the first person to get notified. As I said, this is not going to be the solution to your mixing problem. This is just a starting point for you. So make sure to utilize it and also make good use of this preset as well. Presets are meant to be tweaked and they are not meant to be just put on your vocals and leave it like that. Maybe this might sound good on my vocals here, but it might not do same to your vocals. So always make sure to tweak presets anytime you get them. So thank you for watching this video once again. I am Raklos Beats. Thank you for watching. Peace out.